You know, it's getting a little boring, Brian, with all the Roundup Ready crops out there. I, I don't, I'm no I don't knock think against it's, Monsanto. I don't think it's, just a little bit boring. It's uh, I don't think it's, some I don't Roundup think it's boring. here and there. I don't think it's boring at all. <laughs> it's just that wheat is a little more interesting because you got to come up with all these combinations all the time. I mean, there's some guys that'll throw four or five herbicides together. So, yeah, that is kind of interesting. Well, I think it's kind of fun. And when we talk about wheat, uh, you know, grass control is a really big deal. It's a little bit difficult because we are talking about a grass crop. Uh, broadleaf control, on the other hand, is a little bit difficult too because it seems like just about every product on the market has a few holes and there's some things that they don't get. So today we'd like to focus on those broadleaf products for wheat and talk about how you may fill in some of those gaps. Okay, let's go back and do a little history on this thing. Let's talk about corn herbicides back, let's say, almost 20 years ago. When I first got involved as an agronomist with a lot of farmers, they were using just a great safe product called 2,4-D on corn and they were mixing that together with Banville. It was Banville 2,4-D on corn. And today as a farmer, you just sit back and laugh and say, why would anybody do something that would be so harmful to their crop? But they didn't really have a lot of choices. Well, it's the same kind of deal in wheat. For so many years, people have been using 2,4-D, whether it's 2,4-D amine or MCP ester, whatever it is, but they're using 2,4-D in wheat. And I'm not gonna say it's tremendously harmful to the wheat, that it's gonna knock 20 bushels off, but every year it probably knocks two bushels off, maybe even five bushels. And I just hate it. On our farm, I don't want to use any 2,4-D. But up until just the last few years, we had to do it. Fortunately now, though, there are some new products that have come out that do an excellent job on some of the main weeds we're after in wheat. Well, there are two newer products that have come out over the last few years that have really been pretty exciting in wheat for broadleaf control. They are Husky and Wide Match. We're going to spend some time today talking about each one of those products, where the fits are for you on your farm, and then we'll talk about some cheaper alternatives as well. Okay, let's get into Husky a little bit first. That's the product that just came out a year ago. It's a combination of two things. There is some Buctril in there, and there's a product that is kind of similar to Callisto or Laudus that you would spray in corn. Okay, it's not exactly the same thing, but it's kind of similar to that. Because it's not sold separately, I can't uh, give you some common name that that's found. Anyway, so you've got these two things. So Buctril, that by itself is really good on lamb's quarters, on cockleburr, on sunflower, helps on velvet leaf. It's weak on pigweed, but it's really strong on wild buckwheat. Now, if you look at Callisto or Laudus, those things are very strong on the small seeded broadly, but they are weak on wild buckwheat. So when Buctril is strong on buckwheat and the other product is weak on it, that's a big deal in wheat. So you can go out there pretty confidently with Husky. The only thing is, if you've got tremendously cool temperatures, Buctril is not very effective at real cool temperatures. That works better when it's hotter and more humid. So like last year, a few people had some problems with Husky up in the state of North Dakota because as we know, North Dakota, it's pretty cool up there. They had a lot of really cool days last year, so some people were unhappy with it. When we get back to normal weather, Husky will work fine again. Oh, Brian, you're such a big Husky fan. You forget the real big weakness that it's got, and that's thistle control. Now, Husky will whiten those thistles and hold them back for a while, but if you've got some thistles out there, a better choice would be to switch to the product Wide Match. The reason that Wide Match does so well on thistle control is because you have to look at the two ingredients it's got. It has stock Starane in it, which really isn't a thistle product, but it does have stinger. Now stinger is great on thistles. It translocates through the plant and at the right rate, you can get that stinger all the way down into the root system of thistles and wipe them out for good. So that's really the biggest advantage I see with the stinger portion of Wide Match. The other portion, Starane, is one of the best products out there for kochia control. So when you think about some of the problem weeds that you've got in wheat, if you can take thistles out of the picture and kochia out of the picture, You've taken two of the real big ones. Well, Wide Match is a good product, but it's not going to stop some of the common weeds in wheat, like mustard. It's not great on some of the pig weeds. It's marginal on buckwheat. That's why you probably want to throw one of the sulfonyl urea products in from DuPont, like Harmony, Affinity, anything like that will help you out. You could also throw some 2,4-D in. I probably would not, just because I think the 2,4-D is a little hard on the wheat but that is an option to go along with the wide match. So I just think, although Husky is weaker on thistle and it's a little bit weaker on the kochia, it's pretty good on all these other weeds, so you don't have to throw something with it like you do with wide match. Well, 
whether you choose wide match or you choose husky both of those products are going to cost you seven or eight dollars an acre some farmers may say you know that's a little bit high for me i've been getting by with 240 that's been pretty cheap is there something a little cheaper i could do that would still be better on safety than the 240 well not much no yeah you could go out there with wolf pack advance but that's got buckturl and mcp ester in it so it's got 240 in it that's going to be about half price you'll spend three dollars and fifty cents to four dollars an acre with that if you go with straight mcp this year Year, that is up significantly in price. It's pretty much up 30 to 40 percent over a year ago, as are a lot of the 24Ds. So the 24Ds are a lot more expensive. They're harder on the crop. I'd probably go with something a little safer. Just run the economics and you say, well, it would be less than a bushel of wheat difference to go with a good, safer option as compared to a cheaper option that's not as good on the weeds. Well, we have been pretty excited about the new wheat programs that have been coming the last few years. There are some new chemistries that you may not have tried yet on your wheat, things like Husky and Wide Match, they are pretty exciting. And before spring, we'll get to the grass herbicides and talk a little more about those combinations and what you need to do, what can be mixed together, and what can't be mixed together on wheat. And then the real question that everybody wants to know, will these products control our Weed of the Week? Can you identify this week's weed 